All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please take a note that we will do live podcasts in this account until further update. Uh, we heard all of us the news about uh, Tony Robinson. He was arrested. And, you know, we don't have a doubt about how uh, the setup is working to arrest this man. A man who stand against rape and murder and discrimination. He end in jail and the ones who rape, they will let them free. Uh, but, you know, people, they don't see the positive part of this, uh, of this uh, event. Uh, everybody see it as a very negative it is negative yes for sure nobody want this man to be arrested uh, especially he is the wrong guy right but there is something better for the future and I will explain that but before we go there you know few days ago the whole world was busy about the marriage of a prince And because the word is a stupid and the word is the word of madness and stupidity, nobody told us even why we need even to watch this stupid thing in the TV, which the royal family made hundreds of millions of dollars from just from that wedding. Because in case you do not know, in case to be in that wedding as a media, you have to pay them. To pay who? The one who owned the wedding. Who owned the wedding? The royal family. They promote this event as a commercial. It's a commercial. But many of the naive people, they think, oh, this is a royal family. Those are very corrupt scam in the history. Actually, it's a shame that the British, they still have this family to be ruling them. It's a shame that they have something It's called the prince and the queen when they are very corrupt, very damaged, and they have no dignity and they are taking over the country for no reason i mean who need them what those people do for you who is the one who paid for the security of this wedding you rich people and what for if you are a british citizen and you want to get married can you get the fund from the government to pay for your wedding but you are the one who pay tax those people don't pay tax they don't even have a job And their corruption went beyond that they target a person who is giving them hard time and this is what people don't want to talk about that this Tommy Robinson is causing a problem for the royal family who it is getting their wages and their money from the Muslims the Queen of England if you go and check how often she go to the Middle East Those people, they go to the Middle East more than they go to their to their bathroom. I mean, what what they have? What is the connection between the royal family and the Middle East? They have the same culture. They go to the same bar. They have the same books they read. They have the same religion. What they have? Why all of them? They are possessed. Even the mother of this man. She was, I don't want to use a bad language, but you know what she was. She left her husband to sleep with a Muslim man who is rich, who can shower her with gifts. And yet the whole world call her princess. You know, in this, in this age, if you are a whore and famous, you are lovely. If we ask any man and any woman, what do you say about a woman she leave her husband and join a guy, he is not her husband, and she live with him and travel with him, and many they say even she get a pregnant from him, and she is not divorced. I mean, do you like that to, to, to do you like you as a man that to, done, to be done to you? Do Al Fayed, the guy who was sleeping with her, accept a woman like this to be his wife in the future? Because who is the Muslim he accept that he 
will have a wife and then this wife she leave him and she sleep around and that we will call her a princess and by the way the, the, the Muslims love this woman because simply uh, they have a plan they will make her bread net and then she will have a baby and the baby will be a Muslim baby and then he will be uh, you know that's the, the brother of the coming king I mean come on the scam of this family is beyond imagination everything is for sale their private part their honor anything and now we have the story of this gentleman Robinson but before we go there I advise people to read the history of this family because until now people they are not looking at the image they think it's just a Muslim trying to get this guy in, the, in jail it's it's more than that you see if you watch the video of this man how he was arrested the guy he just stood there he did not even do anything there's no Muslims around him he's talking to no one he is just having his phone open he's doing live broadcast and he said nothing wrong he did not disturb the peace he did not go and ask for violence he did nothing seven policemen came and approached him in the speed of light for a very simple reason they are ready waiting for him it's a setup in less than 30 minutes he was sentenced to three years in jail have you ever heard of such fast court I mean what is he a shrimp he will be damaged if we don't send him right away to the refrigerator the one who's accused with rape who they are supposed to the Muslims raping little girls according to the accusation it took them two years to take the case and to so to to and now they are not sure to sentence them or even give them a reward the guy who is just striking peacefully it took them 30 sec 30 minutes uh, 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 30 seconds to arrest him 30 minutes to 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 take him to court but the world is busy with the royal family and their and their and the wedding party you know this is what this is how stupid the world is how fast it was the arrest i mean what this guy he did is he hitler what he did seven policemen look like this guy is the is the criminal who the, the police was looking for him for a long time he did not do anything and look how filthy the filthy judge i mean how those things happen in country it's called uk this country is a changing excuse my language this country became a shitty the government there is a shitty government the queen is a shitty queen the prime minister who is in the pocket of the abdul is a shitty prime minister I don't like to use those words but I have to don't you don't you feel the smell under which law you can sentence a person in 30 minutes to three years I mean why is so fast what about okay we make an arrest and we schedule a, a you know a court and we ask him to bring his lawyer did not even bring him his lawyer the guy he have a lawyer they hire a lawyer from the court which is obviously he is a government lawyer who he don't care or what he care to get his his 200 pound for standing in the court for five minutes he said nothing the judge he sentenced him for three years and not only that the filthy judge he made an order that anyone will talk about this topic is going to be sentenced to jail too so for the last two days no media dare to speak about it and then the pressure came and like what the heck this is Saddam Hussein government since when media cannot talk about anything why why we cannot talk about him shouldn't they investigate this judge obviously this judge he hated this man to death and there is something behind this hate it cannot be something personal now they start talking about him in the bbc look at the news bbc 35 minutes ago the guardian two hours ago sky news 40 minutes ago why 
because they forbid them from talking about this man if the British people really they seek a future for their country they have to get rid of their corrupt royal family who they are like a bunch of zombie whoever throw them some money they open their mouth who they are second year blood and you give them the glory which they don't deserve go and read their scandals who need them what are what they are doing to you And where Her Majesty the Queen, who is supposedly the queen of every citizen of this country, you know, they show us an, a shiny image. You know, the Princess Diana is visiting a child orphan. Child orphan? Yeah, right. But for me, I see there is a positive side of this story this man he just entered history by his arrest and this man i believe he is going to be the coming prime minister of england they will free him like like puppies you know the puppies they will free him he will get his freedom and he will not stay for three years in jail and the top of that he will become one of the most important leaders in the UK and count in my words they just hired this guy to be a national hero by their stupidity good for him you see all those people who became so important they suffer in certain point of time nothing's easy And most of the time, actually, going to be a president in a country start from going to jail. <laughs> you see now in Venezuela, they are arresting anyone who is going to be opposing the president, right? But this president will go. I mean, his country is, is bankrupt. So you know who is the future president is the one in jail. We know it. The same in South Africa, when those racist, racist people, they are taking over the country. The one who was in jail is the one who became a president. The one who was called a, a, a criminal, he became the president. <clears throat> so they just they just gave him the best job. If you see the Muslims, how much they hate this man, they say he is a criminal. They are following a prophet who is a child molester, a rapist, killer. Somebody do be hidden. He split the women two parts when she's alive. And this guy is a criminal. Do you see the corruption of the Islamic society? Because they hate this man to death. They are willing to say he is a criminal. If we ask them, what a crime of this guy? The idiot who said in the text that this guy is a criminal. Can you tell me what is a crime? So we can laugh at you? Princess Diana, she know the truth. She is a whore, my friend. Princess Diana, she know the truth. She's a scumbag. She is a whore like the rest of them. All this royal family is no royal. Don't be stupid. This woman, she slept with everybody in town. She was the bike of the city. The guard, the cook, the captain, the driver, and the Muslims. Don't be stupid. Soon will go, things will go out of control. And you will see that this guy is not only a national figure now, he is an international figure. You just you just you just shot yourself. He is not the loser, he is the winner. You put him in jail? Okay, so let us see what will happen next. This is the truth. 
you see uh, the problem is do you know the story of uh, of the naked king and the foolish king who he said he said I want the best tailor in this in, in the country who can make a dress for me nobody have ever it's looked like the same story all countries who go through revolution revolution doesn't happen for no reason you know revolution happen for a reason always and when a government reach the point that they go in a speaker corner which is something established for the last 200 years and they allowed certain group to shout and to intimidate and even to use violence and then they say to the other group you are the one who have to stay away from them that will lead to a revolution when you make an order by judge saying that you cannot speak in the media about certain guy who speak about certain group you are leading the country into a revolution British people are not coward and they are not stupid you might be able to drive the liberals who they are always in the wrong side but the country of uk is not a liberal country really because you see the, the major population of uk is in the countryside and those are not liberals and they are watching closely i believe it's time for the british people to change their system you know you see that british people they are so much in football and they strike and they break the stadiums and they go violent and beat each other sometime go crazy just for a stupid football This man is defending their children. What he deserve from you? Don't he deserve at least a peaceful protest? To go by millions, not by thousands? Things will change. And what is coming next is going to be big. They want to keep us busy watching a stupid royal wedding about a prince who is marrying an actor. You remember when the people they were talking about the wedding? I said, How long is it going to take before they get divorced? When we are going to celebrate a divorce again? Those people don't believe in marriage, they don't believe in family. Everything is a theater. Everything is false. The same as Muhammad. Muhammad, he have a family. He never have a family. A person who have a family, he will not go and change women like changing shoes. A person who believe in family will not order his followers to go and sleep with women to do muta for one night stand. They wanted to take to make some money. And the royal wedding is a perfect time to make money. All TV stations in the world who wanted to attend this event, they have to pay money in order to be there. Because this is a private matter. You see, people, they, they see only the side of like, a, let us watch the royal wedding. But they don't ask themselves, how? Do, do you know that if you want to watch a football game, there's somebody who owns the rights of it? And they make hundreds of millions of dollars? It's the same. It's a commercial. In a commercial government, in a commercial royal family, in a commercial system, everything is commercial. When it comes to this guy, because he is not part of the commercial, they forbid the media from speaking about him because the media might drive the public into something they don't want. I don't know what the BBC said about him. I don't really care. I don't know what the Guardian said about him. I don't even care because all those medias are a bunch of scumbag too. They never told the truth and never say something truthful. All what they do is they are seeking attention and more viewers. 
so what make you as a viewer more excited we would for you in the screen so it's not about what is right what's wrong it's about how we can get more of you it's a business those are business and they are doing you know they everything they do is for the sake of money uh, <clears throat> yeah yeah anyway uh, when you when you uh, when you sentence this guy to go to jail is that an attempt of murder or this is just to jail the person and shut him up because we will see later they will put him in which jail and with who because we know that there is a higher percentage of muslims in jail if they put this guy between the muslims it's mean this is an attempt of murder is that true if you put a man like this in jail more than 30 to 40 percent of it is muslims this is not an arrest this is an attempt of murder and a plan to murder this man those people they are evil and they are disgusting and you know the media or let us say the liberals you see youtube why today i'm doing my podcast here i have tons of accounts always to be ready for what is coming I have a debate with an Indian guy YouTube they sent me a few days ago that this uh, video teaching violent I made an appeal they apologize they say it does not teach violent today I open my YouTube it says this video teaching violent again <laughs> the same video <laughs> it, they are they are corrupt they are donkeys they are filthy I don't care. Shut up the account. Take the account. I make a new account. Who gives a shit? You know, I mean, like, this is this is stupid. It take me. I have many accounts, you idiot. All what I need is just the people that I am there. I have my Facebook. I have my Twitter. I have my Patreon. People, they will know where I am. Doesn't matter where I go. It's just a debate with an Indian guy. Where is the violent? Did we do beheading there? And I have their email apologizing. They said, we review your video and we found nothing wrong with it. Please change the tag and change the title. It was misleading. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, nobody can shut us down. And the more they fight you, the you know, like, uh, do you see, do you, know, do you know what happened to a coin, which is... Uh, People they start try to to break it. Do you know what happened? If you hold a coin, and this coin, like you squeeze with your fingers in it, if you notice that what happened to this coin, this coin became more shiny. You can't break it, and it's going to be more shiny. They try to break us, the same as trying to break this man, but that will not make him break. That will make him stronger and he will get more support. I and I like me, I don't really why I want to talk about this guy. But here we go. You made me talk about him. And go and see how many millions right now is speaking about supporting this man. You will not believe it. How many are talking about supporting him? You just created an army of supporters for this man. For everybody knows that what happened is unjustified. It is a trap. It was a setup. It was your stupidity versus the brave man who is trying to say the truth. They thought they can intimidate everybody by what they are doing. Actually, I'm thinking to go to the UK and get arrested because that will create an army for me. An army of peaceful people. We don't want army to go and beat people or slaughter like ISIS. We are we are not this kind. What do you want to do? You want to arrest me? And the second I will be arrested, hundreds of thousands of people they will buy my books. It's the biggest advertising 
for what I do. Thank you very much. What you will do? You see, uh, no, we don't believe in suicide, my friend. What's suicide? Actually, for us as a Christians, we are believers. Death means nothing. I don't care. You know, if I die today, die tomorrow, who cares? You will die anyway. A man who die sleeping in his bed like a dog, he have no honor. Either you live with honor or you go and call, change your name, call yourself a puppy, call yourself a cow who eat the grass and do poo poo and sleep. This is why this man, he is there. He is not a puppy. He is not a cow who eat the grass. And he don't fear them. And we don't fear them. Cowards, nobody remember them. People who they are mute, nobody heard of them. Don't you learn? If you don't defend your rights, you have no rights. As simple as that. This person, he just got the best position in England. This person, he just got the support of millions. They just made him the coming prime minister of England. And you will see. The sentence they have against him is going to be abolished and they will apologize from him like dogs like puppies and then this person he will establish a party he have everything he need now to establish something new he is international figure he is a national hero and the number of supporters of him is growing extremely fast. And that is what is required for somebody to be a leader. You just made him so big, so fast. They thought they can shut him up. They thought they can mute him. But what happening is the opposite. Well, you know, uh, being part of a party and leaving the party, that's a different story because if the party is not what he wanted, Hey, leave it. No, why not? I mean, if I establish a party and then this party is not going in the direction I want, people are free and he go where he believe it's right for him. But this person, he just get bigger than what they can stop. If you notice, uh, in England, All of them, what they call the, the party was taken over. The first thing they did when they took over, they sponsor a Muslim to be the mayor of London. And that preparing for something else. To mute anyone who speak against Islam. So they changed the rules of the, 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 uh, the speaking corners. They allowed the Muslim to, intim to intimidate anyone who speak against Islam. And the Muslims are free to do so. The mayor is a Muslim. The police is under his command. This is what it means to be a mayor, don't you know? The mayor is the one, he is the governor of the city. So the city of London is under a Muslim governor. But the question is, who is the one who made this Muslim governor a governor? Is it the Muslims? No. It is the corrupt 
leaders of the party which is a ruling party right now for those people all what they care is how to earn votes and now in the coming election not only they will suffer badly they will get all the Muslim vote there is no question but the Muslims are not a majority they are still a very tiny minority things will change in a better direction and what they think it was a, a match or let us see a box of matches matches it might turn into a volcano let us see what will happen next but I can tell you what will happen next this guy he have a great future he is the coming Prime Minister of England maybe some of you might say eh, this guy is blah blah talking actually he is now sentenced to jail so he is not qualified even to be a prime minister just wait how many people they've been sentenced to jail before and they became not only prime minister president all those sentences have no value because they have no ground and they can be abolished by a signature of a pen the guy he killed no one he taught no hate he stole no money he is not an employee of a government he is not doing a business they have nothing against him all this setup is nothing but a failure and sign of being desperate how we can silence this man but it is going to work in the opposite You know based on my experience do you know why I even wrote books about Islam you will not believe it everything I did because the Muslims put the pressure on me not the opposite the Muslim they challenged me they said to me well if you are a person who have a lot of knowledge how come we never heard of you writing a book I said okay let us write a book the Muslim they challenged me well, if you are really a person of knowledge, why you don't go to Paltok and debate us? I said, okay, I never heard of Paltok. Let me go there. I go to Paltok and I demolished Paltok. The Muslim challenged me. They made a video about me in YouTube. And I said, okay, well, it's like, it looked like it's time to go to YouTube. I went to YouTube and the Muslims are going crazy. They are flagging my videos day and night. It is the Muslims always who lead us to do something better. They think they can stop you from saying the truth by intimidation, threat, death threat, you know. The, you know, the funny, uh, like in, in YouTube, they say to you, oh, this video is impropriate. Why it's impropriate? Why? What we did? You find a guy from Muslim community in the UK making a video is speaking about us as animals. He said it clearly. He have a bunch of cows behind him and he say, what is the difference between the infidels and those cows? Those cows are better. They give us milk. And this is not appropriate. And his video until now in his channel. We say nothing. We never taught any hate. We don't post videos of beheading. And it doesn't matter what you say. It is appropriate. You are teaching hate, you are not welcome, etc. Actually, I'm thinking to buy, there's many companies, they allow you to do live broadcast and to do uh, post your videos. And, you know, this is business. And actually, if I have enough support, I can sue YouTube every day and we can make good money from it. For the harassment they do to us and the unfair and the injustice it just to make somebody happy liberals liberals their justice is the same as somebody he have a diarrhea and he is giving us a speech how to keep your billy quiet the 
they love to teach us about morality and hate in the same time they support abortion I mean you are against hate you are against crimes but you support killing babies Everything they stand for is absolutely disgusting. They try always to force you to be muted. They force you to shut down, to shut up. That is impossible in the age of the internet. Let us say, YouTube, they shut up, shut up, shut, shut down your account every day. Every day you can make a new account. All what you need to do is make sure that everybody knows where to find you. If I ask you guys, do you know where to find me? Do you people know where to find me? In case I lose my account. Let us say I have like a hundred account now. Hmm? You know how to find me. We have battery on. We have minds.com, we have Facebook, I have Twitter. I mean, how you, how you can sign as somebody these days? It's impossible. Can you sue me? Try. Try. We are victorious. And we are doing great job and this man he did really a great job it is tough time for him and this is why we are standing with him and his family but my friend the glory does not come easy people don't earn their mid in the, the, the middle of honor by sitting in their couch watching TV this person he just named by everybody as a hero for something simple he did standing in the street speaking the truth if this guy now he needed a lawyer do you know how much donation he will have I will be the first to donate We will not leave those who stand for what is right alone. For if you leave them alone, they will target you next, one by one. There is a petition down in the info of this video. Please feel free to go and sign. Your signature will not make a big difference, but it make a difference if all of us we sign. Already there is a big number. I think the number will be a million very soon. Of people who sign it and this is telling you how big this man as a support he is earning how big the support this man is earning it's a huge the one who made the petition he asked people to sign and he wanted to have 500 thousand guys look at that look at the click look at the click okay hold on look at the names how fast they are clicking look look how many people they sign every second do you see it do you see it look at the number is it amazing They wanted 500,000. They just started the petition. And almost they are 500. So by 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 next week we will have how many? A million? <laughs> and this is what I'm telling you, they just 
they just made this man become the the, the, the coming prime minister of England you 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 know sometimes people they don't see what I see uh, because we have a limited vi vision of of, uh, of the future this is always temporary and this is always good this case is going to expose a system and false judges and those judges will lose their jobs and this government will lose election and the mayor the coming mayor of London will not be a Muslim and you will see it's a very clear conspiracy against this man a man is standing alone in a street far away from the court nobody there no Muslim no Christians no Hindus no Jews him and the camera guy and a friend three 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 guys only speaking life in his broadcast saying nothing against the law seven policemen they appear immediately seven I mean how fast when you need them you don't have them how fast the order of arrest came from who you see they did not come to talk to him to ask him what are you doing here they come to arrest him they have already an official order to arrest him the arrest is ready it's a pre-signed this guy he said he's going to go there so they are waiting for him it's a preset when he come you arrest him here we go this is my signature that's it the man he come over seven policemen they appear thirty minutes after he was sentenced to jail how fast is that the pizza pizza take longer if you want to make a pizza between making the dough and putting it in the in the oven and cooking that it's, it's going to take 40 minutes this guy was arrested and sentenced to three years in less than 30 minutes he just entered the court the judge he sentenced him and he sent him to jail that's it Yeah, pizza take longer. The one who's accused of rape, it take them a year to discuss the case. How come this guy, his case is finished in 30 minutes? And what kind of a crime required to stay in jail for three years? I mean, this guy, the rapist, he will not stay there for six months. Thirteen month? I don't know. I heard 30, uh, 30 months, something like this. What, it's, it's a thirteen month? So thirteen month is what? For what? What he did? <laughs> you know, like if the if the judge he says, okay, you are uh, disturbing peace uh, by your strike. You don't have a legal. Uh, but the person who's alone, he can strike alone. You see, by law, even in England, if you are a person who's striking in public place which is not forbidden for you to be there and you are alone you are not breaking the law if you bring a big group of people and you are standing in a place without permission in a place need a permission because not all places need a permission as an example if I have a private property and I want to strike in the corner of my house and I bring 50 people in my property police can do nothing about it it's my private property I have the right to do in my private prop as long as I'm not uh, hurting anyone not uh, you know that's it you cannot do that everything 
Everything is a setup, and this guy is going to get out very soon. But good for him. Everybody now is talking about this man in America, in Australia, in England, in France, and everywhere. He is a person who nobody can forget starting from England. He is not just a name no more. He is just not a name go in the street and say blah, blah, blah. He is not. He is now really something bigger than what they thought the plan will be. To mute him, to shut him up, to intimidate others. Nobody is intim intimidated. I mean, who care? Who is going to stop talking about the topic of this guy? Go and see the English people right now. The, the first move, they forced the judge to lift the ban of speaking about his case. That is the first humiliation for the court who ordered the arrest. Because obviously, it is illegal. A judge is doing illegal act. This guy, he should be taken to court himself and to be sentenced to jail. And the witch law, you forbid anyone to speak about this guy arrest. Who are you to order me to be muted? And this is why I love America. In America, there is no big. It doesn't matter how big you are. Actually, the bigger you are, the more we can talk about you. You see, if you are a public figure, people, they can say anything about you and you cannot sue them. I can now make a joke about Hillary Clinton. I can say whatever I wish. As long as I'm not speaking about violence against her, she can't complain, she cannot sue me. You do that in a public place like YouTube media about a private person, you will be sued. And you will be you will pay a huge fine for this is not a public figure. The second you take a public position, an office, you have you lose your rights as a citizen, really. You don't earn rights, you lose rights. Not like in the Middle East, if you became a president or you became a minister, you are above the law and nobody dare to speak against you because you put them in jail. If somebody knows the name of this uh, judge who sentenced him, please let me know, because we want to make we want to make a good uh, video about him. We want to do some research about him, actually. So if somebody can send me the name of the judge, we want to search about him. Let us see what kind of a person is he. A good man? Is he a corrupt man? I mean, what kind of judge? He makes such a judgment. There is something fishy. So we should investigate this person, whoever he is. The petition is the second line in the info. It's called the change.org. Click in that and you will be there. All right. It is the second line in the info. And actually, the, the I'm looking at the screen now at the petition. The, the the numbers of people signing up is really so fast look 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 it's the page is a flipping like every second every second is is there is a new there's a new uh, uh, people signing so uh, uh, and by the way you do not need to use a real your name you can use any name you want the whole idea that you are a person because they they uh, they accept your petition by your IP which mean you are a real person you know so the names you know, they, they ask for 500,000. I believe that this guy, he will get a, a million easy. And when you get a million easy, that's mean you can make the parliament speak about him. You know what I mean? When you make a, you, when you get a petition signed by tens of thousands of citizens, you are in power. You are not just a guy. This is because some people do think what, what this petition would do.
this petition will do a lot this petition will force the parliament to speak about this man about this case to discuss it what happened to do make an investigation will force the public to check out what's happening because this is the public is speaking it is the public making an, 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 a, a, a petition if you can get 500,000 and they are already 475,000 and 558 as you see in front of me in the screen and the number is increasing so fast if we say from those 500,000 250,000 only are British citizen imagine how scary the number is they can block the whole city of London if they strike in the street that's mean those people they are willing to go in the street we are not talking about 250 people we are talking about hundreds of thousands and this is what they fear this is why the judge he wanted to mute the media from speaking about this guy because that will generate more and more supporters And this is the whole idea of muting the media. But now, because they muted the media for the last two days or day, the result was not for their best. It was the opposite. Because many of the media get upset too. You see now in the media, who is running mostly by liberals, they are not upset about the arrest of this guy. They are upset that they are muting them too. So the case now have two sharp edges. Obviously, the court is a corrupt court. Muting anyone, not only this guy, it's about muting everybody, including the media. Okay, you arrested this guy. Why you don't want the media to talk about him? What's the problem? What is exactly the problem? In under which law, which logic, which uh, constitution? you can forbid the media from speaking about a person arrest yeah the ban is lifted not because they are nice my friend because they've been forced to you are not getting the point shouldn't you ask yourself first why the ban is exist what law can make can make a judge make a ban for media speaking about him so the guy he decided to put him in jail and nobody can defend you. This is the whole point. And nobody can speak about you. You are forgotten. We ban the media even from speaking about you. It's Saddam Hussein court. We put you in jail. People, they cannot talk about you. Who dare to defend you? We ban them from speaking, telling the truth about what happened. And now you are forgotten. This is what they thought. But what happened, it was totally the opposite. Instead of putting him in jail and muting everybody and intimidating everybody, the guy he got a support he can't even imagine to have. People around the world they are talking about him. Me, myself, actually, I don't talk about uh, such a thing like, you know, this guy, I mean, I don't know him. Oh, but I know that he is a person who stands against criminals, teaching hate, violence, and the, the double standard of the government in his country, where Muslims, they can do whatever they wish, just because they are minority. You know, this is the funny about the minority in the West. If you are a minority, you can do whatever you want. You know, I mean, like just your minority, you're protected, supposedly. But their protection is stupid. You see, protect the minority. We don't want the minority not to be protected. You see, me, myself, as a Christian in the Middle East, we all became minority. They took our land. They killed our people. And now... In most of Middle East countries, Christian, there is about 10%, 15%, 20%, depend of the location. The best scenario, 50%. The funny that in the West, the minority 
are taking over the majority it's not about protecting the minority it's about making the minority the leaders of the countries the funny that we have as an example just to give you an example of the liberals in the in the west when we have a president his name is obama he go on tv and he teaches about ramadan i mean in america we don't even have two percent muslim do you know what two percent mean and even those two percent if you if you if you discuss truly they will find that you are counting me with them you know what i mean because they count anyone is coming from the middle east as a muslim but the majority of the Arab in USA, they are Arab Christians. 85% of the Arab in USA, they are Arab Christians. 85%. Ramadan, he, you know, uh, like now we are Ramadan. Obama, he go and speak about Ramadan. I mean, what the heck? What the American have to do with Ramadan? And then they decide to make a holiday for the Muslims. For 2% of population, you make a holiday? Why we don't make a holiday for the Hindus? There are more than the Muslims in USA. And then you see tens of thousands of gays and lesbian and the feminine movement striking in the street defending Islam. Like what the heck, those Muslims, they want to kill you. They believe in killing gays and lesbian. They believe that you are a scumbag. They believe that you are the enemy of Allah. They believe that you are the wood of the hell. Those liberals, they are out of their mind and they are corrupt. There's two parts of the liberals. There's the part which is the leader of the corruption and there's the followers who they are just naive. You know, whatever they, I mean, whatever is wrong, we agree with it. I saw a video, they were asking liberals, I think it was in California, uh, are you proud to be an American? The guy, he said, right now, no, because of a Trump. Oh, if, 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 you know, guys, I'm proud about my country just because the president changed. I mean, what's wrong? What's, what, how stupid those people are? So you were, you were proud when Obama was a president and now you are not proud about America? What happened? What exactly happened? Trump, he banned seven Islamic countries from coming. You idiot. This is the same order Obama, he signed before him. Trump is just renewing. <laughs> I mean, this is their mentality. This is their stupidity. Obama, he signed the same list of the same countries. Exactly the same ones. Trump is just signing again over the over the order of obama he is just renewing it they made a big deal for it. trump he banned the hatred of trump trump he hate muslims trump he is fighting the muslims trump he is banning muslims from what a bunch of liars there's more than 50 countries they can enter usa and all of them they are muslims But do you see how they lie to you? And now they want to make this guy as a person he's teaching hate. This guy is not teaching hate. He never says something hateful. If he says anything about hate, I will go against him myself. He is just seeking justice and fair treatment to everybody. We don't want the Muslims to be abused. Nobody want that. And he don't want that. And he never asked for that. Oh, what he's saying, well, if they are citizens like me, give us equal rights. Go and watch the video in a speaker corner. How they asked the police why you are treating the Muslims differently. The police, he did not say we are not. He said we have orders to treat them differently. They said, why? He said, I don't know. We, just, we are just police. We do the orders. We believe it. It's recorded. It's in video. Go and watch it. He said, we just do orders. This is what they said to us. 
He said, but this is not fair. He said, oh, I don't care. I mean, I cannot do anything. This is what we, this is order. We follow orders. So he agreed it's not fair. He agreed this is not right. We are just following orders. What's wrong with people? Why people they try and they, they decide to turn deaf and to go blind? Now I want to remind people by the way. Please, you see the account you see in the screen, patreon patreon.com. Please subscribe there. I'm not asking you for donation. I know many of you are cheap. I know many of you don't even care. But if you care just to follow and watch my videos for the sake of entertaining. If you don't care for what we do remember if we lose our channels all of it because when you speak the truth my friend they go tough on you they try to mute you the same as they are muting this man so I'm not I will not be surprised if I woke up tomorrow and I find all my videos all my channels are gone I don't care you know how to find me if something happened to my channels you will see a video there saying to you where to go. And nobody can stop us. Bring us the judge who said nobody can speak about Robinson. I challenged him even to do that in America. And this is really what I like about this country. This country is a country of a freedom. Nobody there to do what they did in Europe. Europe is doomed with the stupidity. Things is good, and this man, he is doing great. The prison order is like, uh, you know, like the best crown he ever made for himself. He will, he, he, he will become a leader in a government. And if you go in the coming election for any position he wants, you will see this guy, he will be a winner. Don't make you feel that they are winning, they are losing. You see, like when uh, when Muslim they send me threat, we want to kill you, we will find you, etc. I laugh. That means I'm doing a good job. Actually, the day I don't receive a threat, it means there is something missing. That means what? Like what's wrong? If Muslims don't call me names every day, it means there is something wrong in what I'm doing. If a Muslim he says to me, "God bless you," that means I'm corrupt, obviously. If you ever see the Muslim saying Christian Prince is a good guy, it's me Christian Prince it became a scumbag. As simple as that. This is how you examine the one who is taking the side of the truth. Yeah, this is what we are saying uh, make us yeah and he got my support and you know we will do if me myself if there is anything I can do I will do if I even I have to go to England I will go honestly what do you would do you arrest me okay make me make me the second hero all you say will speak about me an American citizen was arrested and his name is a Christian Prince and he is an author of etc etc books and you will see how many millions they will buy my books go go for it <laughs> and you will release me <laughs> like a puppy what you can do about it what you will say this guy is uh, you know he's violating the law which law the law of opening his mouth right
you know, once the Muslims they get so upset from me and they told me about the plan they have against me, and you will not believe how 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 nice the plan is. One of them he said to me, Christian Prince, I'm going to buy all your books and burn them. I, I said, Are you serious? He said, Yes, I swear by Allah. I went to my account to see how many books is sold. I was well, I, I was hoping that this guy he will buy like a million book and make a fire of them. <laughs> Can you believe how stupid they are? You want to buy all my books and burn them? Please. I mean, come on. I wish all the Muslims they will buy my books non-stop to burn them. I mean, don't you want to burn them? They think I have like a limited books, my friend. We will keep printing. Don't worry. There's a lot of inks and there's a lot of papers. Buy my books and print them. Anyway. But this is their intelligence. This is their, you know, this is their, like, they are beyond imagination with their intelligence. Uh, anyway, don't forget that's uh, uh, this coming Saturday. We have a debate with Sheikh Rohi. You know, Sheikh Rohi, the one who debated me last time. And uh, we might do the debate here because right now I am I'm doing the broadcast in this account. So we will stop here for now. And I'm thinking to make an account just for live broadcasting long videos. And then those this account, those videos will not stay there. Just to make it just for live broadcast, you know. The videos we make is going to be in different accounts. So I will uh, 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 we will designate a, a broadcast channel and video channels. And I have a lot of uh, channels, you know, like... Uh, the funny the Muslim they think they can flag you and they can uh, like finish you. Again. I mean, we, we know change channels and subscribers they follow me wherever I go. If I go right now, make a channel live, and I say, Okay, guys, go and subscribe. By the end of the day, I have I will have a couple of thousands. Uh this account, the one I'm using here, this one is just used for teaching Arabic. The, the purpose of this account, you will see there if you go, you will see my account teaching Arabic is not this is not a really about Islam I'm just using it you know temporarily yeah don't worry about the Sheikh the Sheikh the Sheikh is coming back you know uh, to uh, to gain his honor but he he cannot uh, hey Fuad Ahmed how are you Fuad uh, Fuad I'm thinking to start we will start again in two hours from now like you know around two hours from now what about you call me Fuad let us see how good you are Guys, do you think Fuad will call me? Do you remember Fuad, the one who called me before? Who has no answer? I hope Fuad will call us. All the Muslims who yesterday trying to call, yesterday it was a nice actually, we have a, a couple of Muslims calling. And uh, things is getting funnier and nicer with Muslims, with their intelligence. It's a joy. It's a joy to learn from Muslims how smart they are. It's beyond imagination sometimes. Yeah, the sniffing guy. The sniffing guy and uh, uh, and you know, you ask them a question. Uh, okay, who is the one who Allah is ordering? The angels or the shaitan? You don't understand. You don't understand. Actually, one of you, he sent me a video of uh, uh, what's his name? Zakir Naik. I will talk about it now when I start because I don't want to mix topics with this with the with the with the issue of uh, Robinson. Uh, anyway, in the coming broadcast we will talk about it. So guys, we will stop here and we will be back in about 2 hours and you know, 20 minutes from now, 2 hours something like this around 4:30 as usual. So be with us, invite your friends and we will do a broadcast in Arab for Christ until further update. So please inform your friends and tell them and thank you very much. And I will see you in two hours from now. Christ is Lord. And Mr. Robinson, soon we will hear a very good news about you. And good for you, man. You are the man. Real man is the one who is everybody is proud about them, not only a wife. And we are proud about this man. Real man. Is the one who accomplish what others cannot accomplish.
and this is why we respect what this guy is doing he is fighting for your children's in the UK he is your lawyer stand with the one who stands for you not the one who will suck your blood and make you pay from your tax for a royal wedding party not those who make hundreds of millions of dollars from giving rights to TV stations to broadcast the wedding party those people they are sucking your blood and they are doing business you are a business for them this guy is doing no business this guy is the man you should be proud about and I hope that in England we will see many and many and many many more their name is Tommy Robinson thank you and we will see you soon again in two hours Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that bye-bye